Give me a break, give me a break, break me off a piece of that Kid Cat bar. Yeah, let's get into this. Alright, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys um, a really cool thing that just happened here. As you may or may not know, um, Android 4.4 KitKat has uh, officially got announced and released on AOSP, which is Android Open Source Project. And right here I have the 2012 version of the Google Nexus 7, um, and it's running KitKat. So let me just get into this. I'm going to show you some things. We're going to kind of go through it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install this ROM as well on your device. So right here you can see first of all right there is that KitKat Android 4.4. Uh, and this is for AOSP on Grouper. Grouper is the code name for uh, the 2012 Nexus 7. So I'm just going to point out some things that I noticed on this new Android operating system that I think are very, very cool. And then we'll go into the install. So first things first, your status bar is now in like this uh, light gray coloring. Almost looks white for all of your stuff up there, your, your time and your battery and your Wi-Fi. That's changed. Um, a couple, also, all these are now in that coloring scheme as well. And we're going to go ahead and go into settings. And I want to point out two things that are different here than it was in Jelly Bean. One of those is this feature down here called Print. And I'm honestly not really sure what this does yet. I did some researching online, not really finding much. I did find some stuff about cloud printing, and I may show you some of that because it's kind of cool too. But I'm not really sure what that feature does there in settings. Um, maybe we'll learn here in a couple weeks or so as things develop on this. The other thing I've seen is when you install another home launcher, then right here this thing that says home comes up. And what's really nice about this is now to switch between home launchers, you can just hit the button and it switches home launchers. It's not like you have to go in there and figure it out or uninstall another launcher to figure it or install another launcher and then it gives you the option for default. All that is nice that it's built right into um, the settings right here. So it's just really simple to switch between home launchers if you like Novo Apex or whatever it is. Next thing I want to show you guys, uh, obviously, is you still have these user profile stuff like you did in Jelly Bean. Um, nothing right there has really changed in KitKat here. Um, one of the things I did play with, and I know Jelly Bean has this, but I don't know if it has this mode. It says right here, Dessert. And this is Daydream. And you can set up different things to do with Daydream, and it's kind of like a screensaver. Let me just show you the one that uh, is here for KitKat. And there it is, and it, and it just kind of moves around some blocks. There you go, you can see some things uh, changing on it. Um, it's just kind of like a screensaver. And there's different settings to set up if you want that on or not. And it's just kind of fun to see. So we have that obviously right there. Um, the other thing, just like Jelly Bean, I'll show you this, is if you want to turn on developer settings, you just come in here about device, keep clicking on it until it says you are now a developer, go back, and now you have developer settings and you can turn on Android debugging and all that kind of good stuff if you want to go ahead and do some cool hacking on this device. So some of the other things I'll show you guys, like I said, this is open Android open source project. So um, it is, you know, just like strictly Android. There's not any Google stuff in it really too much. You, I downloaded most of these Google applications that are in here right now. So nothing... Um, you haven't probably seen before if you've seen just straight stock Android in here for the rest of this stuff. Um, you know, like I said, nothing uh, too too do new here. The biggest feature that is going on with KitKat is the uh, RAM handling and how it handles RAM. Uh, they've designed this so that this can actually function. KitKat can actually function on a device with only 512 half a gig of RAM. 512 megabytes on the device. So I'm just going to go into apps really quick and just show you what you've got here. This is running and you can see what's taking up different RAM, how much RAM is used, how much RAM is free, and you can see things like that and maybe compare it to another device, another Nexus 7 and see if it's going to be a lot better for you. Um, here you can see everything and what it's using up RAM wise on your device. 
So very, very nice um, overall. So what I'm going to show you really quick is, like I was telling you about that print, I did find this cloud print thing, which is pretty cool. And basically if you're in a website, it's actually signing in, and you're on here, and let's say like you just want to print this site, once you have cloud print installed and set up, you can just go up here, go to share page, and then go to cloud print and you can tell it to print to your printer and it will go ahead and once you hit send right there on the top it'll print that page on your printer so a very cool feature I like it I've not used cloud print until now so it's nice you can do it from any Android device your computer Chromebook whatever it may be um, last thing I want to show you guys and this actually right here this wallpaper is from the Nexus 5 they pulled a lot of files off of it and have actually started kind of distributing them so I'm just going to give you a little quick tease here of the Google launcher that was pulled from the Nexus 5 um, which I think is really slick and I'll show you guys how to install this in my next video so we're gonna turn it on and there we are this is it looks pretty close to the same right well, I mean it's just the wallpaper but what's different about this is that you're not touching I'm not touching anything but watch watch this okay Google open YouTube so this is totally uh, hands-free, and it actually, opening app. there you go, you can see. Um, you can use all the Google Now commands, and you don't have to hit the microphone to start talking. It's listening to you all the time in this launcher, um, which is just wicked cool and really neat that you can do that. You know, you can see some of my videos on here. Um, or you can say something like, you know, okay, Google, what's the weather like today? So there you go, and uh, you can say it again, just keep repeating, you know. Okay, Google, uh, how's the stocks doing today? And I'll do a search for whatever. And you can keep talking to it, it's just like this, without even touching anything. So that's really cool. They've really integrated Google now into this, into this launcher. Um, you can also swipe up from the bottom and get to Google now. And actually, you saw how it transitioned in, in this launcher. It, it's actually always on this far left page of your launcher and you can see all your cards and all your cool stuff right there um, the other thing you can do is watch watch how this transitions which I think is pretty cool it transitions in from the corner and if you hit it here it transitions in from the corner there too as well so those transitions are just neat and new from what I've seen also um, so other than that you know you've got your it's pretty much a standard home screen a couple things you'll notice that is different you have your app drawer here and it's strictly apps and if you have enough you'll add pages but if you want to get to widgets you actually hold this down and then click widgets and now you can actually get into you know adding in a widget of whatever you want to put in there I mean here's drive and add your widget in um, so it just functions a little bit differently than uh, any of the other launchers that are out there we can do another one and you can go to settings or wallpaper and here's some other of the here I'll just inst I'll just do another little wallpaper right there and there you go now it's got another one of those Nexus 5 wallpapers on there the other thing you're gonna notice is you have a clear transition bar on top or a pull notification bar I should say and you also your buttons down here also have no background on the device as well so you got left side notifications right side your toggles and so on also two fingers does the toggles also so there you go guys that is um, the 2012 Nexus 7 running AOSP KitKat on your device. Uh, very, very cool. I'm loving it. It's running really well for me. Really like this. And that was that Google Experience Launcher that the people have pulled from the Nexus 5. Um, stay tuned for my next video. Check it out. I'm going to show you guys how to install that and get that running on your device. Alright guys, let's go ahead and really quick get into an install on installing AOSP this is really simple so I'm just gonna kinda go through it the simple way here you're gonna power off your device make sure you download the uh, Google applications for 4.4 and you download the AOSP ROM for either grouper or flow 
Um, so either the 2012 Nexus 7 or the 2013 Nexus 7. To boot into custom recovery, just go ahead and hold your volume up and down at the same time and, and power and just keep holding them all. This will boot you into uh, bootloader mode. Now this is going to require you have an unlocked bootloader, you have custom recovery installed, all that good stuff like you've seen in any of my other videos on this device. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check them out. They're really good. You'll see them uh, in my playlist. So we're just going to go to recovery. I've got uh, Team Win Recovery Project or uh, TWRP, whichever you want to call it. That's normally how it's abbreviated on the device. So here it is booting up and all we got to do is first make an Android backup, swipe across and make one. I just made one, not going to do it. You can see it over here in restores. Quick steps. Go to wipes, go ahead and wipe it once you've made your an Android backup. And these process is exactly the same on, like I said, 2013, 2012, Nexus 7, doesn't really matter. Go to installs, find your uh, zip of AOSP, there's mine right there. Add a second one, and right here is the GAPS KitKat, and slide across to flash. This is really simple, it's very easy to do, um, not a big deal. As soon as it's done, we'll reboot. Okay, there you go guys. Uh, it's all done. Go ahead and reboot system. You did your wipe, you did your install. Super easy, super quick, not a big deal. We're going to let this boot up. Just want to show you this has actually got, because it's AOSP, nobody's put their own new boot animation in this. This is straight AOSP from the source from Google. It's just got the little Android boot animation, that's it, and it'll boot up and you'll be up and running. AOSP KitKat 4.4 on your Nexus 7. Okay guys, as you can see, you are fully booted up. You're just going to go through the startup sequence and you will have it on your device. Those are the steps to get this installed. I uh, hope you guys like this video. As always, check me out at RootJunkie.com, Facebook or Twitter. You'll have all the links for all this information in the video description below. Also, if you want this for the 2013 model, you'll be have that as well. So, hope you guys like this video. As always, Root Junkie out.